to the vlog. Good news and bad news. Uh, good news, I we managed to finish our Christmas shopping over the weekend thanks to the generosity of several people. Um, hi. Uh, the baby seems to be over his cough. Yeah. He's making strides, literally, learning how to walk. Yeah. yeah. I know. Uh, the bad news is twofold. Apparently, I ate some clam chowder on Sunday that either seriously does not agree with me or it may have gone bad. Uh, no actual vomiting or coming things coming out the other end so far. Very minimal cramps, but I've been extremely nauseous and somewhat dizzy ever since. I got no sleep last night. No, 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 you were not allowed on the couch. And I was feeling bad enough that I um, take my poor dog outside in time. She can't hold her bladder very long. She's 14 and a half, which is the equivalent of about, what, 80? 80 something? In dog years for her size. So, yeah. Um, so she had an accident on the couch. So far I've done the baking soda and pet stain remover root. Now she's gonna sit on me. I just now managed to take her out where she did the rest of her business. And now apparently my son is asking for his morning snack. Um, I originally planned to do gift wrapping today. No word yet as to whether or not I can get to that, but um, yeah. Okay, sorry about the long break between vlogs, but I haven't exactly had time today. I got about yeah, half the things on my to-do list done. Also watched three Christmas movies. Wait, three? Uh, I know I watched... What was it? Um, the 1938 version of A Christmas Carol with Reginald Owen and uh, Gene Lockhart. And before that I watched Santa Claus is Coming to Town. So, I think that's two. I think I was planning on watching another one. Either that or I watched a really short one, I'm not sure. Yeah, I was planning on watching The Grinch later tonight with my husband. But I just put our son to bed. My poor husband apparently hurt his wrist. So he's pretty sore. Thankfully, he's got a short work week. Um, on Thursday, he gets off early. <sighs> he's going to have some sort of a Christmas party. And then he's off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then the next week, he's off Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So two four-day weekends in a row. Hopefully that'll help him recuperate. At least give him a little bit of a break. The good news is I'm feeling a whole lot better in the stomach. But the bad thing is, now I've got a headache. Oh, yes, and I managed to get all the presents wrapped except for my husband's birthday present. And that doesn't have to be done until the 28th, which is his birthday. So, I do want to let you guys know, this is going to be the last video, once this is finished, this is going to be the last video I upload this year. Uh, I'll be taking a break until the second week of January. So, let's hope next year I can be a little bit more consistent and give you some better content. But, I'll see everybody tomorrow. Hopefully, I could document something more interesting than... Oof, I'm so tired. My main holiday activity right now is watching movies. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tuesday, December 20th? Or is it the 21st? Okay, it's the 20th. Still the 20th. Whew. Uh, of course, once again, I did not document everything I wanted to yesterday. For one thing, if I documented wrapping the presents, that would have been a spoiler as to what, they're, what they are. And... Admittedly, yes, I wrapped my own presents, but that's because my husband does not do gift wrapping. He's more than happy to let me do it. I'm okay with already knowing what my gift is. 
I still get to rip open the wrapping paper though. So here's our little pile of gifts. Full disclosure, it gets covered up by this box, so that's why it's in a perfect arrangement. And 80% of those gifts are for my son. The hope was I wanted to go to the dollar store today to pick up another couple of little things for my husband because at this point he's only got one Christmas present and that just seems wrong. So I wanted to get him something else. Unfortunately, Murphy's Law, the elevator's out again. Ooh. So that's going to have to wait. Maybe I can get out during the time when my husband's back. I can say self-care and then just go shopping. So <laughs> if you're saying this after the fact, honey, I'm sorry. I'm don't, I don't want to be um, deceptive. I attempted to put my son down for a morning nap. Once again, he refused. I'm thinking it is just about time to move him to only one nap a day. He is 14 and a half, coming up on 15 months old. <clears throat> so I just put him down for an afternoon nap. I'm thinking an afternoon nap from like 1.30 to 3.30. By then my husband's home and then I can, well, usually. So, yeah. Got the presents wrapped. Never did decorate the cookies, but that's okay. We don't need all that extra sugar anyways. My digestive system is on the up and up, feeling a lot better since supper last night, which was chicken soup. Did the trick. Um, what else is going on? Ah, yes. I am in the process of editing last week's vlog. It's going to be up later today. I'm hoping to have this particular vlog up by Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas in advance. Yeah, it's not very flattering. Once again, I'm failing miserably on bringing you some exciting content. Maybe next year will be better. I will be taking a break. This Friday will be the last day I'll be recording anything specifically for the vlog. I may get some footage of us opening presents to bring you, but I'm not going to be uploading anything else until next January. So, see you guys then. Hopefully I can work something out and make things a little more interesting for you. Going to be making a new intro. Now the Star Wars channel, I don't know when I'm going to come back with that. But I am going to give you a New Year's Eve live stream. I hope to see you there. More details on that later. I do have quite a bit of things to do, including laundry, which I wasn't expecting. Of course, I need to make thumbnail, upload the thing, clean the toilets, clean the floors. And of course, do some self-care. Somehow, I'm feeling behind on that really bad. This poor little baby. I put him down at right about 1.30, and he was pretty quiet, but probably five minutes ago, he started crying again, so I got him up and changed him. I think he had another nightmare, even though it's afternoon. Poor kid. Um, I do need to get him out of here, because the fumes from the bathroom are pretty bad. I uh, cleaned the toilet, finally, but uh, the cleaning fumes uh -huh. are, yeah, they're pretty bad. Let's get out of here, baby. So it's uh, 2.45 in the afternoon. Like I said, this poor little baby, he had a very, very short nap. He would not nap this morning. And this poor kid, his sleeping schedule is just all screwy, isn't it? And I've still got laundry to finish. Um, I've got one load dry, and I still need to wash another load. And, of course, get those last two loads dried, if that makes any sense. Tonight is supposed to be bean tacos for dinner, but who knows. <laughs> but the way we are, I have no idea. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this little guy down. I know, honey. And then get back to work on the laundry. We have got an extremely, extremely dramatic little boy. Because... He was roaming around freely in the main area, but uh, he got himself into too much... Oh my goodness! He got himself into too much trouble, so we put him back in there. And now he's throwing a tantrum. Because 14 and a half month old... No, that's 15 months. Oh my goodness! Okay, I won't point the camera at you anymore, Mr. Grumpy Pants. On the bright side, just okay. about all the laundry's done. My poor hubby got injured again. 
Remember we're gonna didn't have to do put you in bubble wrap on? Might have to. When it yeah. Relatable. So I guess now I need to start dinner. We're having tacos. Hey. Bean tacos. Well, it's food. Morning guys. It's actually 5.41 in the morning. Obviously I just got out of the shower and it's Thursday. December 22nd. Again, apologies for not bringing you anything more interesting, but like I said, I've got lots of ideas, not a heck of a lot of motivation. Plus, when you've got a clingy 14-month-old, well, you know how it goes. Today was actually my first shower in three days. Yeah, because if I sleep in and the baby wakes up right about the same time I do, um, that means, you know, I have to go to him and change his diaper and all that. And you don't know, you literally do not know what sort of mischief a toddler, even a 14-month-old who's barely standing by himself, can get up to in the amount of time it takes <laughs> to shower. So, I feel incredibly refreshed. So clean human again at last i actually had some ask for company if you guys are wondering why the cat is wet that's because he occasionally likes to sneak into the bathroom while i'm showering and he doesn't just watch me like a a weirdo he pokes his head in under the spray to some extent for the sole purpose of chasing bubbles he's embarrassed <laughs> he's like they don't need to see me all wet. Ugh. Have you no decency? Says the cat who pokes his head in and watches me shower like a weirdo. Now, of course, he's asking to go out. On a brighter note, um, my husband not only gets off work early today, but he gets a four-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Not just this weekend, but next weekend because of the new year. And... Holy crap, who else can't believe it's almost over? Ah, I just barely got used to writing 2022, and then here comes 2023, right around the corner. Ugh. I will be talking about plans for the new year in the first video next year, but I am going to be taking about a two-week hiatus, at least from uploading slash filming, something like that, between Christmas Eve and the second Monday in January. Okay, so it's about 8.30. Um, everyone's had breakfast. I took uh, Manali out. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Silly poker. What you doing? What you doing? It was 21 degrees outside with a wind chill of 14. I know compared to the eastern two-thirds of the country, that's nothing compared to what's coming, but um, still pretty cold, especially for a geriatric dog and a toddler. So I hope it warms up at least a little bit by the time noon rolls around and the dog has to go out again. I just tried to tell you, um, she didn't do so well. I think they oversalted the sidewalks and it was very cold. After she did her business, she was limping and hobbling. I ended up carrying her to the elevator, so. Yeah, she's not doing so good. Poor old dog. Okay guys, it is 1.52 in the afternoon. Uh, I've gotten a few things accomplished. Of course, we had lunch. I'm about to put this kid, Mr. Messmaker, yeah, down for a nap. I also made a Christmas ornament for us that, that's got like, bits and bobs from our wedding. I'll give you like a, a detailed thing on it uh, later. And my husband had a Christmas party at work and <clears throat> got off early. So he's all stuffed full of good food. It sounds like it was amazing. Smoked chicken and pork. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. <laughs> he also won a 55-inch 
Crystal HD TV in a raffle. Uh, for comparison's sake, his current TV is, uh, it's, uh, that's about a 40 inch. So I don't even know if a 55 inch will fit. Okay, so it is now 2.30. Sun's down for a nap. My husband's home. Just uh, for size comparison, that's his old TV behind him. 40 inches TV. And here, 55 inch TV. Ultra HD, LCD, LED TV. And it's a smart TV, which that's the old one TV. isn't. This guy. Look at the size of that thing. Cut the chatter red too. Accelerate to attack speed? Um. You got scissors. I gave you some scissors. Where'd you put them? Yeah, they're over by the soon to be old TV. <laughs> if this thing doesn't fit over there, though, we're kind of screwed. It should. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. It's approximately 55 inches. Well, still. Okay. A benefit of working there. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with that. Okay. This is the 40 inch TV. And that's the 55. <laughs> it's huge. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, guys, I want you to watch. This is very important. Look, it's a man reading instructions. One power turns the TV on and off. Come on, you dork. Okay. Here goes. Fire in the hole. It is on, by the way. There it is. And there's the loading thing. Hello. Experience the extraordinary with your Samsung screen. <laughs> Two simple options. How would you like to get started? One hour later. It's set up. So we have it set up now, and this TV comes with channels. We're actually watching Bob Russ's The Joy of Painting right now. Yeah, it apparently having a Samsung account means you get TV. Just, you just... There's, there's like 50 or something channels you get just by having the account. Just basic the stuff. Just like basic news and a few, a few movie channels and plus you get access to YouTube and the internet and what in the ever-living. This is a 55-inch computer. <laughs> it is. This is just... There you go, your, your favorite calming voice right there. Now what we're going to do is add some happy little trees. <laughs> oh, the trees are already there. He's adding a reflection right now. We're going to gently spray this paint around and make it look like a reflection. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have mistakes. We only have happy accidents. I'm just going to go right into some Van Dyke Brown. Good grief. Morning guys, it's coming up. It's, it's just after 6.30. 6.31 on Saturday, December 24th. That's right folks, it's Christmas Eve. I know I didn't vlog yesterday, but um, yesterday was a little busy. We ended up doing our grocery shopping and a few things. I know I told you a couple days about Manali's incontinence and it's only gotten worse. The other day she had an accident in the hall. She's asked to go out in the middle of the night. She's hyperhydrated, constantly thirsty. I don't know what's going on, whether she's suddenly gotten doggy diabetes or what, but um, Yeah, it's something depressing to think about before Christmas, let's put it that way. On a lighter note, tonight we're planning on going to church. And then, of course, before we go to bed, stick all those presents under the tree. And, of course, that is where I'm going to leave you guys for the rest of the year. I'm hoping to have this vlog up no later than Monday the 26th. Hopefully, um, yeah, probably Monday the 26th. So, 
all. Of course, when I sign off, I'll be seeing everybody then. I'm probably going to wrap this up by showing Christmas Eve preparations. I don't think I'm going to be baking another batch of cookies because um, I'm a bit baked out. <laughs> um, the Our turkey breast is thawing in the fridge, but uh, yesterday somebody, our neighbor across the hall, left something in the oven while they went shopping. And as a result, their fire alarm went off for about an hour until my husband knocked on the door. Nobody was home. There was a robotic voice saying fire and the entire floor smelled like smoke. So, of course, he did what anyone would do. He called the fire department as the hallway was starting to fill with smoke. They had to break the door down in order to get to the source. A robotic voice, by the way, on the fire alarm was saying, Fire! Fire! What else was he supposed to do? Fireman bust down the door. Turns out there was something on fire, essentially, in the oven. The entire apartment of theirs was filled with smoke. It billowed out into the hallway. It got in here. We had to open windows and the balcony. I did not vlog about that. It was way too stressful, but, um, and plus I had like three or four asthma attacks and I was terrified. It was bad enough that I had to breathe through a, um, a wet towel. My son was fine. He was scared that I was putting something over my mouth and nose because masks of any sort scare the daylights out of him. So, but yeah, he's fine. We're fine. There's still a nasty burnt smell lingering around. But nobody was hurt, and uh, maintenance was able to put the door back on its hinges. They weren't happy about it. I do not know what's going to happen with that, and honestly, that's none of my business. But, um, yeah, I hope they have learned their lesson to never, ever leave a stove unattended. Meaning, you never, it's just common sense, you never leave the, the house or apartment or whatever while you're cooking. You don't even leave the kitchen while you're cooking. It's just not done. But I digress. Please pardon my extremely frizzy appearance. I'll probably come back when we're in the thick of Christmas Eve preparations. And then I'll be looking a little bit more attractive. Wait, attractive? Me? Nah! Okay guys, so it's 3.43 in the afternoon. What have you been doing today? Well, mostly chores. I've been getting ca caught up on laundry, mainly Kanan's laundry, uh, on dishes, and making sure the dog's been okay. And we're going to have to leave for the church service at about 4.30, um, depending on traffic, because the service starts at 5, and we're going to have to grab dinner on the way home <laughs> Christmas Eve. Oh boy, that's that's gonna be interesting. But at any rate, I've already changed into my festive red clothing, and I need to do something else with my hair because it's a mess. And our son had a nap, and he hey, and his daddy play. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi, Say hi Mama. No, over there. <laughs> hey, baby. Say hi. 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 Yeah. He's just clapping. That's okay. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, baby. So, um, he's watching some sort of a car show. At any rate, um, <laughs> we're probably going to be getting ready even more involved in about 15 minutes. Because we have to leave in less, oh, less than an hour. going to take... The doggy outside, and before we leave, we're gonna feed the animals. So, I may try and get some pictures, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to manage that while holding the kid. Probably not. My husband's shaking his head. It's just gonna be, he's not gonna be on the worship team like he usually is, not playing drums, either today or tomorrow, because tomorrow the kids are taking it. And, um, so. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to pass them back and forth or what. Okay, so long story short, um, <laughs> thanks to a fiasco that was about 90% my fault. 
I ended up uh, forgetting a couple of things and um, interrupting my poor, poor child's nap time. And we still ended up late anyway to the Christmas Eve service. But we went and it was beautiful. Candlelight and carols and all that fun stuff and scripture verses. Um, and no, I did not record any video. I had my hands full of child. So, and my husband was holding a candle, so that would have been unsafe. Uh, we got dinner from Wendy's, actually, because <laughs> we already agreed today. Yeah, Christmas Eve, let's pig out <laughs> on something that we're, you know, on junk food or something. Right, honey? Yep. Yeah. So we got Wendy's. I got chili and a baked potato, and it was because those are the only two things that are have a better chance of being gluten-free other than the salad, and it's way too cold for the salad. <laughs> so, yeah, no Christmas lights. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow night. So, that's fine. Uh, dog and the cat seem to be doing well. 7 o'clock, I'm going to give the ch uh, our child a bath. And um, <laughs> after dinner, I'm like, you know what? I'm still hungry. How about a nice cup of warm beverage? So... I haven't yet decided between tea and uh, hot cocoa. So, <laughs> that's how tired I am. We found out he's actually pretty good at... It's going to come to the channel very soon. I'm not, I wasn't going to go into any detail. Oh, my apologies. We found out my husband is pretty good at doing a particular voice mm -hmm. which will be showing up on the clumsy jedi channel for the outro next year when those videos return we still have not worked out an intro but we're brainstorming about the outro and he's definitely going to help with that so i'm looking forward to it yep with great anticipation i think a lot of people at home on the internet i think they're gonna like it i hope so i hope so too